Welcome to English for Audit Channel. How are you, my student? Year one. Our session today will be about Unit Five. Unit Five, the title is Nonfiction. Nonfiction means fact or real. Instructions. Instructions can be used for a list or a sign or a recipe. What the meaning of instruction? Instruction means order. When I order you to do something, I begin the sentence with the verb. Like what? Like go, like drink, like play. So use a pussy verb. A pussy verb orders you to do something such as go, jump, sit, run. So now I'll give you a verb to do, but without starting sentence with subject. A pussy verb that starts the sentence. There are numbers that show the order, pictures or diagrams. All these will be about pussy verb. Now how to use balloon pump. Number one, put the balloon over the nozzle. What's the meaning of nozzle? Look here, it's a nozzle of the tube. It's a tube or a balloon pump, like a tube, and it ends with a nozzle. So a nozzle is the tip of the pump where the air comes out. This is the nozzle. So you will put the balloon here in this side, over at the top. Number two, put the base of the bump in and out. The base of the bump. This is the base up and down, up and down. You will pull up and down. Number three, take the balloon off the bump. Now you take off the balloon and tie the knot. This is the knot, the end of the balloon. Now it's a way to use a balloon bump to blow up the balloon. With your partner, use this to make this and you will know that the nozzle means what? The tip of the pump where the air comes out. Bathe the bottom of the nozzle or the tube. Following instructions in order. Many instructions must be done in order, correct order. Why? Because we have numbers or the time words help you like this. Time words like first, it's a time word, the beginning. Then, after that, it's a time word, finally, the end of the sentence or the instruction. So, these are time words. First, go to the library. Then, go to the bakery. Finally, meet me at the car. So, you will yeah, now use these time words. Numbers and time words make instruction easy to follow this instruction. Number like one or two or three, turn right outside the school, walk to the corner, cross the road at light, what you will say. Number one, do what? Number two, do what? Number three, do what? What's the mean of bakery? A shop that sells bread. Every day, mommy, go to the bakery to get a bread for you to make a sandwich for school. Here, look at this map, follow the instructions to find Anna's house. Where is Anna's house? We don't know. But we will now do this instruction in order to know how to arrive to Anna's house. Number one, first walk out of the school. Where is the school? Here, it's a school. Walk out of the school and turn right. We will now, it's a gate of the school and we will go out, turn right like this and go on to the high street this is the high street then turn right as the crossroad this is a crossroad because there we have here four roads cross all together so it's a crossroad at the bakery then you will go turn to the bakery it's a bakery you will turn right at the bakery at the crossroads then next go straight go straight on the bus go straight on the bus where the bark, here is the bark street, here is the bark what street. Finally, cross the road, you must cross the road, means walk on the road at the traffic light. This is a traffic light here, and beside it, it's Anna's house. So now we use four, four numbers, one, two, three, four, and we use time words like first, then next, finally, to arrive to Anna's house. So you must do this instruction in order and using the time words and numbers. Now look at this set of instructions of getting from Anna's house to Sue's house on the map. Write the instruction in order. Now we have three instructions, but they are this order. Then turn right at the crossroad. First turn right on the bar street. Finally, lock for the house with the red door. Now we want to make this instruction in order. So we'll say first turn right on the bark. This is the first 
construction. Then turn right at the crossroad. Finally, look at the house with the red door. So now you make this instruction in order. Look here, nouns and pussy verbs. We talked before the meaning of nouns like what's a place, person, or something. Instruction use pussy verbs, but after pussy verbs, you must put nouns. Pussy verbs order you to do something. Pussy verbs help to make instruction easy to follow. But you must say the nouns after this, like what? Put soil in the pot. So now you use the pussy verb, but after this you bring the noun soil. It's a soil in this pot, means dust in the pot. Push the seed into the soil. Push, put stress, you stress the seed in the soil. Water your pot every day, every day. Get a water and water your soil. So here yeah, you have here pussy verbs, put, bush, water, and you have now in soil, seed, but. So you have this, like make, jump, fold, and slice. All these are pussy verb. I can make sentence like make sandwich, make is a pussy verb, sandwich is a noun, jump up the that jump up the wall so jump up here is a busy verb the wall is what is the noun fold your notebook or fold your sleeve fold here is a busy verb and sleeve is what a noun and slice the meat slice is a busy verb meat is a noun all these are called busy verbs the noun instructions are the particular things that you need to do so you must put nouns to do the task like this, push the seed deep in the soil. You must use noun after the verb, pussy verb, like seed and like the soil. Nouns are like what I said, people, plated, some things. All these are nouns. There are some steps to do to grow seeds or a plant. What you need? A plant pot like this, some soil inside the pot, sunflower seed and watering can. These are things you need number one fill the pot with a soil you will put here like this you will put here a uh, soil in the pot number two push the seed in the soil we will take this small seed and put in the soil number three put the pot on a sunny wind wells wind cell what's the meaning of wind cell wind cell is what the shelf by a window this is a wind cell the shelf be beside the window it shake the pot every day and water it if the soil feel dry. If you look at the pot and you will see the soil is dry, means doesn't have any water, please give water to it to let the plant grow. Number five, plant the sunflower outside when the shoot grows. What's the meaning of shoot? Shoot is what? Shoot means a tiny plant. Shoot, this is a tiny plant grow from the pot. Would the sunflower grow at all with a yellow flower? This is the steps to make a plant or to grow a seed. Now, copy and complete the instructions with these pussy verbs. Now we have these six instructions and we want to fill it by using the verb draw, sprinkle, stick, fill, cut. Now you will need Chris seeds. What's the meaning of Chris seeds? Chris seeds, it's a kind of plant. This is a kind of plant. Now, number one, fill the pot with the soil. Fill, it's an instruction beginning with a verb. Sprinkle means scatter. Sprinkle the Chris seed on the soil. Soil means scatter it on the soil. Number three, draw a funny face on the paper. Get a paper and draw with your pencil a funny face. Number four, cut out the funny face from the paper and stick it on the pot. Stick means use a glue to stick the face on the pot. And wait for the crest to grow like a hair, like this shape of the crest. So now you make the crest seeds to grow as this like. Now we want to make a present by using a noun and by using a pussy verb. It's like this. We said before, noun is a person, is a place or a thing. Glue, paint, paper, card, and noun can be singular and can be plural like scissors. Now we want to make pom-pom curing. Pom-pom curing. This is 
This is a bomb bomb key ring. Look here. This is a bomb bomb key ring. We can put keys at the end of this bomb bomb. What will we do? We must know that we want something. What are these? We want a small ball of wall. This is wall. And we want a key ring. This is a key ring or a key ring chain because it ends with a rope like this. Two rings of a card like this. Two rings of a card like a tab. Scissor. These are you need to make this. First, tie the end of the wool to the ring of a card like this. You, you get the wool and tie it. Next, wind the wool around the ring. Wind, wind. One, two, three, four times. Keep winding the wool around the ring. Then cut and tie the end of the wool in the middle. When you finish all the ring, cut the end of the wall. Next, cut around the edges of the ring. This is the edge, the edge, the end of the ring. Then cut a piece of the wall, three, what I mean, three, three to put through, but we can sometimes use three as a noun means string, but here it's a verb, three here to put through the chin, through the wall, wind the wall around the middle twice, two times. Next, tie the wall tight by by the meaning of tie, tight means not strongly. Cut out the cards, finally fluff up the bomb bomb like this. Now you have a bomb bomb, small woolen ball, and this is the steps to make it by using bossy verbs like cut, like tie, like keep. All these are bossy verbs, and then put nouns after this. Now find these three bossy verbs we want from page 95 three bossy verbs. Where are they? Yes, tie is a bussy verb, is number one. Keep is a bussy verb, number two. Cut is a bussy verb, excellent. And we want also two time words. Where is? Yes, first is a time word, next is a time word. Super, year two. Now, look at the instruction, find and write the missing nouns. First, tie the end of the what? Of the wall to the rings of the card. Cut the Cut out the what? The card. So now you put the two missing nouns in this year one. You are super old. Work with your partner. We have here something are called beads. Look at this shape. It's called beads. We have many beads of many colorful, like pink, like white, like black, like blue, purple. So now you will use a string, a piece of a string to make a bracelet. What's the name of bracelet? Is this? Girls like to wear a bracelet around their hands. What will you do? You will make first, second, finally to make this. First, tie a note in the string. I say before the meaning of note. Then, three, two red beads on the string. Next, three, two yellow beads on the string. Now, you compare your bracelet and choose one of these to be the beautiful one. Now I'll give you to make another question at home. At the homework, copy and complete the instruction. You with these words: string, beads, tie, thread, one, two, three, four, red, blue, green piece. How to make a bracelet? What to do? First, thread. What? What? We want here two nouns. Number two. Then thread. What? Number three. Next. What? Finally, what the ends of the what? So now you will choose the suitable words from these to put here to make a bracelet. This is the end of our session today. I hope that you understood the meaning of it, the difference between nouns and the bossy verbs and how to make instructions and how you must remember that you make that you must make instruction in order to get a final meaning or to get understood meaning. See you soon and goodbye. Take yourself.